You want yourself to live an abundant life. God wants you to live an abundant and happy life. And it is your birthright to live an abundant and happy life. And don't take this people and welcome back to my channel simply key simone if you are new here i want to say welcome and if you're returning i want to say welcome back here on my channel i talk all things mindset growth and lifestyle and today we are diving into a very very important topic a very good and juicy topic one that i know a lot of people come across when they are at a crossroads in life when they're at a point where they feel super super stuck or they feel like they're not living the life that they want to live which is how to attract abundance in your life how to live a more abundant life now I know at a certain point you wake up and you're like I could be doing more this isn't really the life that I want to live this isn't where I want to live this isn't how much money I want to make this isn't the type of lifestyle that I want to be living well you are in store for a treat because I'm gonna touch on some very important topics on how to attract abundance in your life and how to live a more abundant life so if you are interested in this topic sit back relax grab me some water grab me some wine today I'm sipping on some lemon berry kombucha cuz period <laughs> and we are just gonna dive right in so when we talk about abundance that looks very differently to a lot of different people for some people it is just having an abundance of money for some people it is having abundance in their love life for some people it is having an abundance of family abundance in their employment and their career journey abundance can look like so many different things to people but why is it that some people feel like that they are not living an abundant life why is it that some people feel like they are stuck where they're at and they cannot change their circumstances by any means necessary abundance is your birthright and if you don't believe that to your core if you don't believe that you deserve a life full of abundance if you don't feel as though you deserve a life full of great things and full of whatever that may look like for you happiness love money all, all of the things whatever that may look like to you abundance is your birthright always remember that most people really really do not realize that they have the power within themselves to attract abundance, to become a person of abundance, to just live a more abundant life. Most people do not ever realize that or have that realization go off in their mind like, dang, I can actually take myself out of this situation and put myself in a better situation, put myself in a situation that is ideal for me, one that I feel like is the life that I essentially would like to live. I have broken this topic up into three different subjects that are going to help you to implement, dissect, understand, and live a more abundant life. Now, the first portion that I would like to dive into, or the first thing that I would like to make you aware of, is that abundance all starts within your mind. It all starts first in your mind. People constantly let their situations, let their surroundings, let their bank account, let their friends, let their family or just let their circumstances or past instances or circumstances that have happened to them shape their mind they let them they let it shape their lives in a way that they feel as though they are stuck in that life but really they are just stuck in that mindset they're stuck in the mindset of thinking over and over again what their present reality looks like this is a very scary place to be in your mind now I know that some people are very very content in where it is that they are in life you know not a lot of people require a lot or not a lot of people want a lot having merely having a roof over your head or having food on the table you know running water clothes to put on your back those are the basics but there are people that are wanting abundance in love or wanting abundance in just pure happiness in whatever it is that they're doing whether you want that or whether you want a life of luxury or whether you want a new corporate job or whether you're looking to get married 
it all starts with your mindset first. If you are constantly living in a state where you are dwelling on the fact that you don't have the things that you want, that you're not living the life that you want, you are going to remain there. One thing that me and my wife have recently had a conversation about, which is about mindset and how we have affected, we were just really reflecting on things that we're growing from and things that we're learning for ourselves. And one of those things was having a victim mindset. So I'm going to use this as an example just to kind of paint the picture better for you about how this starts in your mind, right? Let's just say we have a person who has a, a string of history of terrible relationships, you know, emotionally abusive, physically abusive, whatever may have you. But we have a person that has this perception or a mindset of men or women, whomever are not good for me. They're all bad. They are all abusive. They are all going to take advantage of me. They're all going to hurt me in some way. That person is operating from a mindset of how their past experiences or circumstances have shaped them to believe or program their mind to believe. And operating from that state, you are constantly going to attract the same type of person because this is the only thing that you're focusing on. This is the only thing that you are putting into your mind. You have your subconscious mind and you have your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is operating from intelligence. Your conscious mind is operating off of knowledge that you've acquired or like experience. Your subconscious mind is operating off of feeling, off of memory. Your subconscious mind doesn't know what's accurate from what's fake and you have to then reprogram your subconscious mind to operate the way you would want to consciously which is not necessarily making generalizing statements such as you know all men are dogs all men are terrible because you are going to seek that out unknowingly subconsciously in your mind you are going to continue to attract that same type of person and never move to a relationship that is worth having that is abundant that is full of love care support respect all of those great things so i hope that that example kind of puts it into perspective um when you ever see someone who is is angry or upset or having a bad day let's just say they woke up on the wrong side of the bed like they woke up late um they may have spilled their coffee they may have uh, stubbed their toe they have already set the tone in their mind for what their day is going to look like and as they continue to go through their day and they're in traffic and people are cutting them off or there's a traffic jam they're getting even more upset they're getting even more upset and then you get to work and you already have an attitude or you already have this negative energy about you and you start acting as if in a way to reflect how you are feeling internally and other people have an attitude with you or other things start to happen and you're like see i knew i knew today was going to be a terrible day like i knew that i was not going to have a good day that's you directly manifesting having a terrible day just like in the other example that i just gave that's you manifesting these terrible relationships so i hope that it makes sense when i say that it all does start in your mind first what is your current mind state? What is your mindset towards the things that you actually want? How do you feel about those things? How do you feel about yourself? What is the internal dialogue that you're having within yourself that is keeping you mentally in this space? Now that we have dived into where your abundance is going to stem from, which is in the mind, we have to now figure out how we can attract those things from our mind into our material life. Well, not only do we have to think these things, have our, our ideal life or have a thought of how we would want our life to go or our ideal dream, whatever may have you, we have to not only think that thing, but we have to put our time and energy into it. And then in turn, we will start to embody it. Once you're embodying what it is that you want. Once you start to put intentional time and energy into these things, this is how you're really going to get to where you want. Our 
mind and the thoughts that we have and the dreams that we have and like the visions that we have of ourselves are all things that we can physically hold in our hand. If you can hold a thought or an idea in your mind, you can truly hold that thought or idea in your hand. You can bring that into your current reality. Bob Proctor talks all about abundance being all around you and what you can hold in your mind, you can hold in your hand. That is one of like my my favorite Bob Proctor um, quotes just because it is so true it is so very true and it's really really sad and disheartening when people truly do feel like that they have no control to attract those things that they want in their life it all starts within the mind what you are not only thinking but what you are putting your energy and time into and intention into and truly starting to believe for yourself those things are really what's going to either keep abundance from attracting in your life or bring more abundance into your life. Once you're putting your time and your energy into these things, you are going to start operating off of that frequency. You're going to start operating off that vibration. Don't want to get too deep, but just, just, just keep along with me. We as human beings are all operating off of a certain frequency or vibration. Like, have you ever heard, you know, the saying of, you know, somebody's vibe was just off or have you ever felt yourself in a situation to where you feel like it didn't feel good in the room? or you felt like that mm, maybe it's just off or maybe you were hanging out with a certain person and you could just tell that their energy was off that's because we're all vibrating off of a certain frequency so it once you begin to operate from a frequency that aligns with what it is that you want your life to look like that is when it's going to start manifesting in your life you cannot be operating off of a low vibrational frequency but expect high vibration things in your life if you're dwelling on the fact that you don't live in the neighborhood that you want to live in if you're dwelling off the fact that you don't have the body that you want to have if you're dwelling on the fact that you're single and you're in your mid-30s and you don't have any kids yet if you are stuck in whatever negative beliefs or negative feelings or whatever your circumstances are in right now, how can you even take the next step to lead yourself into that abundant life that you want, into that thing? If I'm constantly sitting here talking about how I wanna unbig my back and how I hate my back rolls or how I hate how my stomach bulges out, if I'm suddenly focused on that and only focused into that, but not putting any intention or energy into well how do I unbig my back how do I make my tummy flat like how do I get to my ideal abundant life of a healthy good looking toned body if I'm only focused on the negative in my current circumstance that is how you're going to manifest your abundant life that is how you're going to manifest all those abundant things that you want and that leads into the third thing that i wanted to dive into so we've covered that attracting abundance comes truly from within and once you decide to reprogram your mind to operate from a space in which you would like to be now it's time to manifest these things into your life once you have literally decided with yourself decided that you want to live the life that you've always lived and attract what it is that you want in your life and that you are not currently or no longer going to be dwelling on the circumstances of your life right now at this moment we need to manifest this into our life now i know that the word manifestation in the past people throw it around super willy-nilly but manifestation is purely bringing into the physical world what you have in the dream world or like the creative world which is your mind and so if we really really want to manifest that we have to physically bring things into fruition you may not be able to have a million dollars tomorrow but what can you do today to work your way up to that you sit down you decide where it is that you want to be and you get really really specific and when i mean specific i mean where exactly are you living what, what's your zip code what car do you want to drive you know what does your ideal spouse look like what does your ideal dream 
job look like? Like what, what does your day look like? What does your daily routine look like? Like get super, super granular and get very, very specific with what it is that you want. Once you see what it is that you want and you have all of these different details on how that looks like for you or what that looks like for you, then that's how you are able to create a plan in which to move forward to that goal. So not only have we reprogrammed our mind, putting our focus and our energy into where we want to be, we now have a solid plan on how to get to those things. Sometimes if you don't see things in the physical, i.e. vision boards, i.e. planners, i.e. journals, and all of these things that you hear people normally talk about when they talk about manifesting, it doesn't seem realistic. Once you put something on paper, baby, I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, dang, I can see that. I'm telling you, the vision boards, the journaling, and all the things, it's not just mumbo jumbo. I'm here as a living testament if you ever needed a sign that that's something that you want to do or something that you need to do or something that helps you take this as your sign as yes it's true and you should definitely definitely try it out once you have all of these things on paper or you have them planned out or you have them in a vision board you have to sit back and ask yourself how am i going to get there that is going to help you formulate your plan you want to break up these different areas of your most dream life of your abundant life of all of the things that you want to attract you have to break those things up and ask yourself how am i going to get there what step can i take today what step can I take tomorrow? How can I put myself in position, get myself in position and do what's required to attract these things? You are living in it. You, your mind is in it. And now your actions are in it baby, you are going to get what it is that you want. When people set out for the career they want, when people set out to build the business that they want, they have to be living, breathing, and embodying who that person is in order to get those things. You can't wake up from point A and expect to be at point Z without having took steps B, C, D, through all the rest of the alphabet. You cannot just quantum leap, quantum jump without making some changes in your physical life in your emotional life, in your mental life. So most definitely, if you are going to be wanting to manifest these abundant things in your life, you are going to have to make a plan and start to live and embody that. Once your actions are reflecting that, you are going to attract exactly what it is that you want. Whew, baby, was I preaching or was I preaching? Yeah, because we are living an abundant life. I'm so, so happy because we, we are about to live an abundant life. We are going to get the house that we want. We are going to get the spouse that we want. We are going to get the career that we want. We are going to have the family that we want. We're going to have the loving and supporting friends that we want. We are going to create and bring into fruition what it is that we truly, truly want in life. You want yourself to live an abundant life. God wants you to live an abundant and happy life and it is your birthright again it is your birthright to live an abundant and happy life and if you are getting in your own way and if you're not living the life that you want to live if you don't have the things that you want to have if you are not currently a part of the things that you want to be a part of you are the only person keeping yourself from that so that about wraps up the three tips or the three areas that I broke down living your abundant life in or how to live a more abundant life, attract abundance into your life. I hope that some of these tips resonated with you. If you feel called to do so, please share this video with someone who may need it. Thank y'all so much for sharing space with me again for yet another video. If you enjoyed the message, please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also do not forget to slide on over to Instagram and follow me there at underscore Key Simone and the same on TikTok. And yes, I will just see you all in the next video. Bye.